Christ is King Daily Life. If you're new here, hi, I'm Deborah. Go follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Christ underscore is underscore King 100 because we keep 100 over here. And follow us on Facebook at Christ is King BE. Today for y'all, I'm going to be trying um, all of the fast foods French toast sticks. Now, I've never had French toast sticks. Well, like the fast food kind. I've had them at school and I've and we've made some at home before. Um, but I've never had like the fast food kind. So it's going to be interesting to try. <laughs> um, so I have So I have one from Sonic. I have one from Jack in the Box. I have one from Burger King and one from Wendy's and Wendy's just came out with and y'all can see all the bags are just look like they got so much grease on them which is just yeah so the first one I want to try for y'all is the Sonic one um, just because that's the first one that I got and the total was $3.19 after tax um, and it came with it came with three Um, which wasn't too bad or was four? maybe it was four I don't, I, can't, I don't remember because there's only two in here left because I gave the other ones to my baby so I'm pretty sure it was four I think it was four um, and then they have the syrup it says thick and rich syrup but you know who knows <sighs> okay so this is the first one that I'm going to try it's like big and crispy I mean, it's pretty crispy, and it's also pretty, like, thick and bready, which I actually really like. When I was giving them to him, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to like this. And they do have the crust, so, you know, it does look like it's actually bread. Okay, so, I'm, like, holding my phone with one hand trying to record, so it's hard. Okay, so, I'm going to be trying to, I finally got the syrup open. Um, I'm going to try without the syrup first. It's actually really good. It's pretty sweet on its own. So I don't think it even really needs the syrup, but I'm going to try it with the syrup. They are really good. The only thing I will say though is it's kind of mushy in the middle like if it wasn't completely cooked and I don't like that and then the aftertaste of the oil just tastes like the oil is old but um but other than that I mean, it's fine mm. okay the next one I'm gonna be trying for y'all is Burger King and you can see all that oil coming through the bag <laughs> These are actually really big too, and I like how they're not so uniform. It makes me feel like they're real food, you know? Um, and they're pretty thick as well, pretty crispy. Um, so I'm gonna try it without the syrup. It kind of tastes like the outside of a corn dog. <laughs> Hi, baby. That's so cool. Yeah, it kind of tastes like the outside of a corn dog. So I'm going to try it with the syrup. So that one's just going to be a no for me. Like when I per first put the syrup in my mouth, it was just like, mm, had this weird taste. It, I'm definitely not a fan of, th those were the Burger King ones. Um, I'm not a fan of them. That's, that's all I really have to say. The lady was nice though. Um, she ended up because for those who know, my baby is very friendly 
and so he was smiling and stuff like that you know how people are with babies and stuff and so she ended up giving him some hash browns for free which was so nice and he loved them um but um so the service was great but um Oh god. Ah, I got my phone. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, all this um, grease, I guess. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. Um. So yeah, the service was great, but um. Yeah, I, I'm. I, we're just gonna move on. Yeah, is it yummy? You like it? Okay. Well, go ahead then. That's what I'm gonna try. Is Jack in the Box. Um, let me go ahead and get it open. I look up all the prices and stuff because it's weird to me that a lot of places don't give you your receipt. Um, and of course, I don't remember what all of them were because I got several. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna try Jack in the Box. Um, and theirs are really light and fluffy. Um, but they're not as crispy. I mean, they're pretty crispy, but they're not as like crispy as other ones. But um, they're light and fluffy. You can tell it's actually bread, like a piece of bread. So I like that. Um, mm. Hi, handsome. Yeah, these are perfect. I love these so much. I'm going to try it with the syrup. Yeah, these are so good. I like. I definitely recommend the Jack in the Box ones, y'all. They're like perfect, and they actually don't even taste really like oily and stuff, which is great. The syrup is great, you know. Just tastes like syrup. I'm not really a big syrup fan, but um, but they're pretty good. So that's what I'm saying. So the next one I'm gonna try is the Wendy's one. Again, just oil soaking through the bag. There's some new ones that um, that Wendy's just released. Hold on, this one. These I do remember were $2.99 for a four piece, and I think you could also get them in a six piece. And if you don't know, Wendy's just released these. And just by looking at them, I'm like, y'all just need to unrelease them. Go take them back because they don't look very appetizing, to be honest with you. But this is how they look. They're not as crispy. They're real soft. And I like crispy, so. They're just so plain. It's like eating a piece of bread. Like, that's what it tastes like, eating a piece of bread. I'm going to try it with the syrup. is better with the syrup but the thing that freaks me out is how smooth it is and so when it's on my tongue and it's so smooth it like freaks me out yeah I don't like this oh the Burger King ones are definitely my favorite um was it the Burger King one no the Jack in the Box ones were definitely my favorite um, the Burger King ones were the cheapest ones, but um, I, I didn't really care for it. But the Jack in the Box ones were my favorite. You know, you can't go wrong with Jack in the Box. Um, but so that's all I have for y'all today. Um, so y'all just stick with Jack in the Box. The rest of them weren't really good at all. I didn't really care for any of them except for Jack in the Box. Um, so the scripture that I'm going to be leaving with y'all today it was 1 Samuel 15, 23, and I'm reading out of the NIV. It says, For rebellion is like the sin of divination and arrogance, like the evil of idolatry, because you have re excuse me, rejected the word of the Lord. He has rejected you as king. Now this is, you know, 
and Samuel Samuel goes and makes Saul or brings Saul to be king and this is after this is um so Saul went and he and so he um he went and he didn't obey God and so he's talking about the rebellion baby okay. And so he went and he had sinned against the God. Well, he rebelled against God. He didn't obey what the Lord had told him to do. Um, and so it's saying rebellion um, is like the sin of divination and arrogance, like the evil of idolatry. So those who don't know what divination means, divination, the definition of divination is the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or unknown by supernatural means. So this is what rebellion is equal to. Also, arrogance, the definition of arrogance, for those who don't know, is having or revealing an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or ability. So thinking you bigger than you are. And, <laughs> and the definition of idolatry is the worship of someone or thing other than God as though it were God which well there's different definition of idolatry but one of the definitions it said was having a big admiration for somebody um or feeling love and i was like this is not what it's talking about so i found a different nation and i felt like this fit it better um I can't remember what you're Okay, so it's saying rebellion is equal to the practice of seeking knowledge of the future, um, having a revealing and exaggerated thinking you're bigger than you are, um, and worshiping something or someone other than God as it were God. Like, y'all, that is how, like, serious rebellion is to God. You know, just because you know you think you can do something or whatever but you rebel if God told you to do something you need to be doing that you know you don't know what kind of consequences may come of that and I'm not saying oh he's gonna pour his wrath on you and stuff like that but you know you never know if he told you to go and say you know Jesus loves you to somebody and you don't do that you don't know if that person was you know thinking that that was gonna be the last moment that they just needed to hear a word from the Lord and you didn't go do that like that's when the Lord says to go do something we need to be quick and swift to to move on it you know even and if there's some uncertainty like you don't know if the Lord's asking you to do this or whatever then ask him to confirm himself see if it aligns with his word you know and so many of us are just looking for to have to not have a confirmation just so we can just so we can get out of having to do his works like we become lazy christians and you know most of us need to to, to act you know and some of us now some of y'all y'all be acting too much and not waiting for the holy spirit's release to tell you uh, <laughs> So yeah, so the scripture was 1 Samuel 15, 23, for rebellion is like the sin of divination and arrogance, like the evil of idolatry, because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Y'all, that is so powerful. Like sometimes we just don't understand the power of, you know, being rebellious. But, um, so that's all I have for y'all today. Um, I want to leave y'all with... Um, a prayer father God I thank you for whoever's watching this I thank you for everything you have in their life father and I ask you to give us the strength and the self-discipline to not rebel father because we don't want to be equal to divination and arrogance and definitely not idolatry father God and I thank you for your mercy and your forgiveness for every time when we do rebel father and father I ask for your forgiveness for every time that we have rebelled against you Lord um, Lord and I just ask you again to give us the strength and the self-discipline to to endure and not rebel against you even though you know your word says to be of the world to be in the world but not of it um, and father sometimes you know that gets hard and so we rebel against you but father God I ask you and I thank you father for everything that you've done for us um, and I praise you and I worship you in Jesus name amen 
and y'all have a blessed day y'all don't forget to go subscribe go follow us on instagram and tiktok at christ underscore is underscore king 100 because we keep 100 over here and, <laughs> and follow us on facebook at christ is king be and y'all have a blessed day